شماب و وبرو و روحو حي و قديشو حضلوه و شريرو امين The time is fulfilled The kingdom of God has arrived Repent and believe in the good news Follow me and I will make you fishers of people بارخ مور ابونا بريخ صفرو Good morning Today we continue to move forward on this journey of the Sundays that follow the Feast of the Epiphany, the Baptism of our Lord. And we continue to contemplate on the uh, beginning of Jesus' ministry and his call of the first disciples. In today's Gospel, according to Mark, we read two mission statements. The first is a mission statement of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the second is that of those who follow him, who follow our Lord Jesus. The mission of Jesus is clear. He comes to proclaim that the kingdom of God has arrived. He is the one who fulfills, who realizes the kingdom of God and proclaims the salvation, the good news, and redemption and remission of sins to all people. And he calls them to repent and to believe in this good news. This is the mission, the kernel of the mission of our Lord Jesus Christ. The mission of those who follow him is to leave their nets, to leave any worldly concerns, any business, to abandon their old lifestyle, to forsake any fishing whose goal is not in alignment with the kingdom of God. Perhaps also they might have to leave their families and be no longer fisher men, but fishers of men, fishers of people. Instead of catching fish for the table, they are now called to catch people for the heavenly table, the table of life in the kingdom of God. It is notable how radical this call is. It's quite pointless to speculate on why the disciples responded immediately, as the gospel reads, or whether Jesus may have saw them before, met them before. It's not important. Mark is not interested in the unnecessary detail of information. To him, following Jesus should be immediate and radical. Some intimation of the cost of discipleship is shown in this text. A disciple has no time to say goodbye to their family. We also read somewhere else, a disciple has no time to bury their dead. They have no time to go out and examine and see the field they might have bought or some yoke of oxen. Nor to prefer their husband or wife over Jesus. The center of the action is the person of Jesus. He is the one who calls and he is the one who summons others to be his followers with a single authoritative word, follow me. And those who are summoned in this way obey him without hesitation. The call of Jesus is radical. Either we change our ways, our fishing target, the nets we are fixing, or we cannot become disciples and followers of Jesus. We ask ourselves, what fish are we catching? Money, power, perishing joys, desires? What nets are we fixing? Nets of deceit, of division, hatred, pride, jealousy? Are we fixing nets 
to lay for others as traps? What nets are we fixing in our families? Are they nets of prayer, of unity, of peace, of humility, of joy in the Holy Spirit, of light, of faith, of hope and love? How are we raising our children? We may be catching lots of money for our families, for the future of our children, you know, for their stability and their security. Yet have we succeeded to catch or gain our children for the kingdom of God? Let no one deceive us. Here, on the holy altar, we have the greatest catch. All other things are added to us. Let us keep in mind, the buts must be left out. Following Jesus is a radical action. Let us pray to be among those who lead a life of repentance and remain steadfast in their faith and belief in the good news. Yet more, to be among those who proclaim in word and in deed with Jesus and with the church that the kingdom of God has arrived. May our Lord grant us to be among those who recruit people for the kingdom and to be among those caught and gained for the kingdom who sit around the table of life with our chief priest, our Lord Jesus Christ, to him be glory and honor with his Father and his Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Barakh Morabun.